GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zealot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 9 series. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but... Uh, okay, so yeah, the whole mole. Aww, she took a couple of clips to the face. And surprising or not, the biggest damage which caught me completely off guard was Xerax troopers on the ground. Holy bejesus, did they ever buff them and make them aggressive towards vehicles? Now, <laughs> holy, um, tread lightly and quickly with a big stick. Wow. Uh, yeah, I got caught off guard by a small group of Xerox troopers on the ground with laser rifles and within like I don't know it was quick as can be both my windows the light got shot out um, and what else as I was, and then as I turned turned away another one clipped one of my oh you can't see it because I was playing around with the uh, texturing tool but one of them clipped my actual um, cargo container extensions and destroyed it. It, it. I was getting like one shot by their freaking laser riflemen. I'm like, holy crap! Yes, this thing is not a combat vehicle. Okay, it's it's a drill. <laughs> it's it's not a combat vehicle. It has a whole bunch of guns on it, but it's not a combat vehicle. The guns are more or less to get rid of the drones, really. Um, so what I'm going to have to do today is I got to replace that. That's not a big deal. We we also can now do different texturing for the cargo extension. I was just checking out that out. So I want to see what we can do. So it's it's a larger, much larger array. There's some unique stuff too that might. I'm not sure if this is a missive or not, which I want to check out. Uh, be able to tell with a white no. Uh, a missive will go really. Yeah, it looks like an emissive, doesn't it? The yellow there. Yep. So that's an emissive. Okay, that's cool. Um, or is it? Is it just reflection on the indents? Is that what they're doing there? For reflection of, of my light? Maybe. Yeah, maybe that's not a missive. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look at something else. Um, I'm just curious to see if there's an emissive for this. So there's nothing on the second page. I think this is, right? No. I thought these were lights right here. Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe there's not. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, yeah, right, because that's the uh, turret. Turrets can take a whole bunch of... See, they can, they actually can be emissive textures. The turrets can. Oh my god, really? Do that and then paint it white. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I can't really tell until I turn it on. Well, I guess we could. That's actually... Oops. No, I didn't want to turn the bunker on. Okay, um, yeah, I guess I can't really tell if it's a missive unless we turn it on, right? Derp a derp, derp a derp. Here, but we don't have to have the engines running or the drills or the spot lines or the Gatling guns. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, let's just, hmm, is that, nope, that's not a missive. No, there's no missive there. Okay. Let's go back to 
that for a sec. Is that a missive? No. Well, here, let's paint it white, right? Or something like that. Paint it yellow again. Although, as soon as we change texture, it, it nukes the color on it, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's not a missive either. It looks like it should be, but then it's not. That's too bad. Uh, I guess it doesn't have an emissive texture. It's got its original, which is kind of emissive, sort of. It's more like it's not really a missive. Uh, no, it's not a missive. That's right, because it doesn't. You can't see it from a distance at night. That's kind of a telltale giveaway of an emissive, also. Uh, well. Maybe we should just go with the default hardened or um, combat steel. Although I do really like this texture too. Can we... We can do it on the turrets. Hmm. See, the hardened... The uh, combat steel will take it too. Oops. Didn't mean to erase my texture on my floor. But that's why this is a garage. I don't really care if I spray paint around. Okay, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of being a little wishy-washy on this, aren't I? It's just, it's just n nothing to it, I don't know. Uh, nah, nah. I'd rather do the default combat steel to tell you the truth that's what I had originally before I put all the cargo extensions on this thing so yeah let's let's just let's just uh, go full on <laughs> I love that noise it's like a billion a billion freaking surfaces at once getting textured. Nothing on the inside got textured. Although I think I want it. I think I do want the texture on the inside too. Yeah, that, see, that looks just way better. Way better. Thank you for allowing us to texture these blocks. Ugh. The default was really ugly at first. It's like, oh god, I hope we can retexture these eventually. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> there we go. Now I can get some some continuity out of the look there. There we go. There we go. That's that's Oops. Let's get rest of these makes it looks like it's actually a tank again but really it's it's not it's a it's a three dressed up as a nine okay it's not a combat vehicle let me just state that again <laughs> don't think that this is for a minute so when you if you subscribe to it the uh, the 32k su home wall only has armor on the front, but really that's all you ever get shot. And yeah, pop my armored windows out, but yeah, they're armored windows. I can replace those. Uh, it sucks to lose cargo extensions. I only lost one, but I didn't lose any of the combat steel. This was all beat up though. They were beat up, but I didn't lose any of them. And so once again, other than that one shot, the lucky shot on the side from the from the Xerox. Um, I think I put the armor in the right spot. 
-hmm. I think I got the armor in the right spot because that seems to be the only place where I'm getting shot is where the armor is. So, okay, I don't see any others, so let's paint this up. Uh, you know what, we're just gonna get it all black again. Oh, I forgot to do the texturing on the inside. Oh, crap, I hit something on the inside, too, that I didn't want painted. Oh, well. Uh, a big deal. Okay. Well, that's looking better. That's looking way better, in my opinion. I don't know, I just... I don't mind the default combat steel look. I really don't. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> Oop, missing one. Dude, come on, hey. Oh, that's the color. Let's get back to the texture tool. Okay. Okay, I think we got it all. And everything is textured, the combat seal. That's the other thing too, is the um, all the weapons will take that texture and they weren't they weren't taking the other texture. Oh, well, actually, I don't know about the new ones. They might take the, they might take a bunch of the ones that the, that the cargo extensions take. So I get, I probably could match that up more, but at this point, I think we're just going to go with that. So we're done. We're done with that. Let's, um, let's shut this off. I don't have anything in the fridge, so we don't need it running because I wanted to see if there's an emissive and we're not going to use one, so screw it. Okay, so I need to make a light for that and we can finish off the inside. In the meantime, let's go into the constructor room, deconstructor room, and furnace room. I think it's time we throw what we have in the hole mole into our base here. So first of all, let me go into the Wi-Fi and connect to the hole mole. And you can see in the container, we, we pretty much had the weight maxed out in the and pff, we had no spots left. Now what I want to do is I want to put this into the specific spots right off the bat. Now I'm going to throw all the ore into the ore. Now, what I mean by ore is ore that is smeltable by a furnace. Everything else does not go in there because I just I only want the stuff that the furnace can deal with. It can't deal with magnesium, it can't deal with promethium, and it can't deal with stone, so those aren't going in there. I don't need to th file throw refined pentaxid in there. We can put that into fuel. Do I not have the fuel one made yet? I might not have, oh yeah, I thought I did. Yeah, because you need a huge one for fuel, trust me. When you have stacks of fusion cells, they weigh like tons, <laughs> at least they used to. And it still seems, yeah, I mean, 13, yeah, I'll, I'll be, you can just imagine that's nine. That's going to be like, six seven thousand just from the from that that those are eight those are fifteen wow that'll be fifteen thousand su for a stack fifteen thousand that means ten stacks is a hundred and fifty thousand 20 stacks is almost maxing out the capacity. Well, 20 stacks is only, I mean, there's, what do we got per row here? We've got eight. So 16, 24, let's say, plus another stack because of the 20,000. So, so we'll do 21, 21 stacks, that's it. So, right here, it's only going to fill up 
21 slots before the actual maxed out volume is going to be hit by fusion cells. That's why I made the fuel one, one of my 30, 320,000 SU containers because it needs it. Kind of crazy, eh? The, the promethium is super heavy, super, super heavy in the fuel refined fuel is too okay so now that we have this in there we can go into here and I can either output it to mats or I think I have ingots ingots come on ingots I thought I made one called ingots that's fairly large yeah there we go so what I could do is I could just turn this thing on right now and it'll just smelt this thing until it's until it's done smelting. So let's do that. <laughs> okay. Awesome. <laughs> Woo! Love it. Okay. And then and then oh yeah, the cool the other cool thing is the deconstructor. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we have all these C V parts because when I was out and about um mining I ran across where the hell is it now so we're, here it is crash capital vessel um, and there were there were there were a few small there was a small silicone and small copper I think but the crash capital vessel itself um, has a whole bunch of thrusters on it. It had like 30 some odd freaking thrusters. So I couldn't actually grab it all because I had a, all the other ore and stuff. So I was pretty much maxed out in volume anyway. So I'm going to have to go back there and and continue looting that, getting all the parts off that. But in the meantime, I'm going to put the small thrusters in my deconstructor container. I think I called it salvage. Didn't I call it? Yeah, there it is, salvage. So I'm going to put the small ones in there because we're going to, on the CV that we're going to be building, we're only going to be using the, uh, the medium ones, I believe, unless they completely screwed these over too. Let's do the math. Well, let's do the physics here. Okay, so I don't really care about hit points so much. The energy in, I don't really care about. So 20, 20 mega newtons for force. These are eight, so less than half. But they are also half the amount of space. So they're one block, whereas these are two blocks. These weigh. 24 tons. I don't really care about the volume. The volume only counts whether they're sitting inside this container. Once they're on the CV, it's the mass that counts, which is 42 ton or sorry, 24 tons, and these are 16 tons. So if we if we multiplied the small one by two. That would give us the same space that one of the mediums take up, and that would give us 16 mega newtons at 32 tons. The medium is 20 mega newtons at 24 tons. Much, much, much better. Weight to thrust ratio is much higher on the medium. And that's what I'm looking for. That's what really matters now. Because when you're applying more weight, then, then you actually need to. So, the, so you're putting on another thruster that weighs more, right? So you're adding more weight. You're actually, with two of the small thrusters, you're substantially crappier than a medium because of that. Right, so it's not just it's not just the fact that um, it's got less force overall. It's also they're also heavier overall. So it's like it's it's exponentially worse. 
Um, so yeah, these are a much better deal. Now the problem is, I think energy in one kilo PU kilopascal, um, two hundred forty PU. Multiply that two by two would be four eighty. So at less than half the energy, you're getting. 80% of the force with oh god about 30% more mass really holy crap okay so that's the trade off is these are more efficient by themselves individually and even on whole so if you had a bank if you could only put a single block thruster in these are great and as long as you don't need a lot of weight to lift these are more efficient so you're better off if you don't have a lot of weight to lift and um, you're looking for fuel efficiency then yeah the small ones the small ones are substantially cheaper in fuel substantially they they also count for 50 CPU I'm and these are no CPU count at all okay huh I guess it's because because these ones you can pick up and, and change so so it'll be whichever one you select that'll probably have the CPU count on them in the stats for for like when you right click on it and you get the selection of stuff that's probably where you're gonna get all the stats see that's unfortunate they don't do that you can't actually see the stats for grouped items like um, like this for example the thrusters it's like well I don't I don't know what it is I don't know what it is because it doesn't show it but I bet you let's see we can pick that up because that we're actually connected to that I bet you if we right click on that and then see yeah CPU 100 CPU 100 CPU okay so they're all CPU 100 if they're all the same why don't they give that stat then See, that's a little annoying. Like, I shouldn't have to pull this out and look at that if they're all the same freaking stat. Maybe it's that they just miss that. Maybe we'll see that on the... I mean, or maybe they wanted to leave it out because potentially a different shape is going to have a different amount of CPU. Really? Eh, okay. So I think they just missed that on there, maybe. <laughs> they're all the same CPU. Ah, whatever. Okay, so there's my uh, fun times. Fun times. Oh, did we actually... Was this actually... Turned? Yeah, see, wow. Look at that. Nice. Plowing through it like a boss. Ho oh, ho, wow. Wow, that is so fast. <laughs> Crazy. Probably got no fuel left, but hey, yeah, we better check that out. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Look at it. Holy crap. Uh... Uh, better throw these in real fast just to give give me something. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm running out of fuel then. Do we... Let's... No, we have the hundred and some odd fuel, right? Like, come on. Come on, z -Luck. Get your shit together. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where are you? Fuel, fuel, fuel. There. And then from the fuel container that I made and named I can select fuel <laughs> and then you know what let's throw all these in oh, 60 some odd okay there we go there we go crisis diverted there we go we're gonna live we're gonna live okay um, Let's 
Let's just eat something really quick here. Eat a hamburger. Nice. Actually, I could probably shovel two down. Yeah, I can. Let's do that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is... I got sidetracked there, sorry. The next thing I want to do is we're going to turn this deconstructor on. Oh, we did already. Okay, so now that we have the cell... Oh, it's turned on. You know what? Maybe let's... Do we want it into mats? Is it going to fit in mats? It's not even going to fit. It's not even going to fit. Okay, so what we got to do now is move stone out of the mats because we don't need that freaking much like holy crap yeah we don't need to be storing that much stone uh, did I make one for stone no nope. okay so let's go do that I've been making boxes for well I've been numbering and naming boxes for stuff stone how much does that weigh how much does that weigh let's take a look Ooh, that'd be heavy. So that's 3,000. No, 2,000. 2,000 SU per. Hmm, I wonder if stone deserves like one of these semi larger ones cuz cuz that's only 8 stacks to fill up a or not even that's 4 four stacks to fill up one of the smaller ones. I think I need to go with one of my my controlled ones. Now these two here I believe have Oops, I can actually just F into it to look at that. Have 120,000. So that those columns. So I, I use the regular um, cargo containers as as uh, dividers between the two between the cargo extenders, and that's that's how I made my uh, all my cargo controllers. Okay, um, what's in here? It's seventy two thousand. Seventy two thousand. Yeah, that's uh, 35, 36, 36 stacks. 36 stacks. And that's a lot. Yeah, this should be enough, right? 36 stacks. Let's do that. Let's call this stone. So we're going to rename this one. No, we're not going to name it to that. We're going to name it to to stone. No, stone. Just stone. And then here we'll go into here, and we can go like this, and do the mats, and because we don't need that much, a few hundred on hand is fine. Okay, so yeah, you can see already we're eating up a large chunk of it with just the five stacks. So you got to be aware of stuff when you have the weight enabled. You got to make cargo realistic because if you're going to do an extender, it doesn't have to have 320,000 if you're going to do it. Like I say, you know, this one's going to have seven, this one has 72,000. It'll be able to hold. 36, 37 stacks of stone. Am I going to need more than 37 stacks? Probably not. So you know what? That's plenty. Um, you just got to think of it that way. And, and, and some of these, yeah, I, I plan on having, I need large amounts because, um, because I might be throwing a stack of like CV thrusters in there or something, right? So, and they can weigh a lot. Okay, so let's do the LCD. And we're just going to do stone. St 
go. Okay. good and then we're going to do 20 okay and then we're going to come on no give 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 me it right there thank you and then no i didn't no no just go down there and then go in okay good enough ingots stone so as i uh, like i as i need a box that I don't have created yet I've been creating them and you can see I've been created a bunch and so I, this place has a shit ton of storage <laughs> and it'll be all organized it's all logistic okay so now that we have the stone organized um, I think we have enough space in the mats now right we should we've got a bunch of slots I just didn't want it to not have enough slots to run I mean, a lot of it'll just stack on top of what's already in there. So let's do this. Let's let's go into the salvage. Um, and then from the home wall, I want to salvage all those thrusters, all the small thrusters, necessarily the RCS though I don't really need that hold on to that oh yeah we looted gravity gen woohoo um, I don't need the large constructor uh, I don't need the small fuel tank the rest of this I can use yep the rest of it's fine yeah there we go. I mean, I could I could just use this to spawn something in, but I actually we're going to be building another CV. We're going to be building a cargo starter CV. Even though that yeah, we're going to be probably 20 something level by the time we get to it. But hey. Uh okay, so let's turn this on. We're going to now we've got some stuff to salvage. Fun fun fun. Oh, it's already going. There we go, yeah, because, okay. So there we go, wow. Sweet. So that's going to give us a bunch of plates. And whatnot. Okay. Well, that's very cool. So. While that's doing that, this one is done. Look at that, it's done. All that ore is already cooked. So because that's done, we're just going to turn this off. So it's not so it's not using any idle. Ooh, and it almost filled up that cargo box. Wow. 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 Really? That's impressive. Where's ingots? Right there. Huh. Why does it... Maybe I could only... Maybe I... Maybe it just the scroll bar, because, I mean, it still has lots of... It's still... It's not even at uh, half capacity yet for both um, the amount of of stacks and the actual volume it can hold so that was kind of weird but I it looks like it'll fill this up I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I gauged that right look at that 48 it looks like it's gonna fill this up and just be under 48,000 I just love that okay um, yeah so you're you don't need to make like I say you don't need to make your cargo extenders all the way out to 320,000 SU. Make them to, to, to the appropriate what it's going to be intended for. Okay. Uh, well, we can throw this in there too, right? So let's do that. Let's do that. Salvage this. Oh, no. We're not going to salvage that. 
That's medium thrusters. No, 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 no. Why would I do that? Because we're going to use medium thrusters. Whew, I'm glad I grabbed that really quickly. Uh, okay, so we need to connect to CV base then. CV base blocks. There, yeah, sweetness. And then we can throw that in there. So let's do that. Throw that in. Those base blocks and stuff. Armored windows. That. Got a bunch of stuff to throw back into mats, obviously. Okay. Okay, and then uh, we've got the stone. Let's throw a bunch of stone. Stone. That's fine. And then uh, I guess we can put the promethium into the mats. we got to start cooking up more fuel. I'm not level 20 yet, but eh, I was kind of hoping to get level 20 and then we can just start frying our water up and making some real fuel. You know what? We've probably got enough fuel right now between what we've got in here to keep us running. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it didn't use that much finishing that off. Okay, that's good. Top that up. Okay. Uh, well, excellent. That The furnace worked out super fast and cool. And this was super fast and cool. Look at all the cool parts it added. Gave us a whole bunch of flux coils and, and fun stuff like that. Not sure what else it gave us. I think it gave us a bunch of Sathium and Neo. Uh, or, ooh, also, what we should do then is we can go into the. Let's go into here, the mats. Oops, mats. We want to go into here, throw this stuff in there. Okay, and then, and you can see I chose a container that also was not a 320,000 storage unit container from, from my mats, because from already previous experience, I know filling up the 64 slots won't hit, won't even come close to the 320,000 SU. So, um, but if, if you have enough stacks in there, it can it, it can hit over thirty. So I I went for the sixty four because sometimes you know if especially like this stuff can actually weigh quite a bit that you might not think about. You might not think about like if you had um, a stack of like a thousand motors. <laughs> well, geez, there's you know you know twenty two hundred SU right there. So, um, and these are, wow, these are super heavy, these uh, Scosium alloy, holy crap. Everything else is fairly light. Water is really heavy. See, that water is super heavy. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a thousand SU right there, right there. The one stack of water is a thousand SU. You can't pick up a stack. Your backpack is not big enough to pick up a stack of water. Okay. Uh, what else? 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 Fuel. Throw that in the fuel. For now. Um. Actually, we'll keep that on the whole mole. That's its oxygen and emergency fuel supply. We'll keep that on the whole mole. We're going to put this in one of the fridges. What is it? It's raw food. That's the one. Okay. Okay, so now I think we've got everything out of there, right? Yep. So there we go. We've 
emptied the whole mall out of all of its loot. We've organized that all into its appropriate containers. And it's already processed all of the ore. It's already deconstructed all of the parts that we wanted to de deconstruct. Well, what's next? Well, what's next is... Da, 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 oh. Hit the wrong button. Da, 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 da. An SV to build. And with all these cargo extensions and a couple of container controllers, uh, it'll be warp capable. We still, what are we missing here? So let's look, through, let's look through this. What are we missing? We are missing Gatling guns. Okay, well, we looted a couple of those. So, where did I put those? Where did I put those? Did I, did I actually throw them in blocks? In the, into CV blocks? No. I don't know what I did with the Gatling guns. Did I deconstruct them? I probably deconstructed them. I have such a horrible memory. <laughs> what, what, did, what did I actually do with them? Oh, they're on me. No wonder. Uh. <laughs> Grab some windows. Um, yeah. I'm not even sure if it's going to have windows because it's going to be a big open box top design. We need... Oh! Right. We need the... Grab... Those are... CV base, we can't use those. Um, okay, so let's go back to the constructor and we're going to get some stuff spinning up. We're going to get some sp stuff going. Let's uh, that put it in ammo. I should have put that into HVSV. Okay, so there's I made two of those. Oh, great. I know why I made two. Now I know why I made two. So The great thing about this episode is it's got another surprise for you. We're not even, I, I know I haven't started this SV build yet. I know you guys are like, come on, we want the cargo SV. But you know what? I can't risk, I can't risk the cargo SV getting clobbered by the patrol vessel while I'm building it or well yes I have not seen the patrol vessel come over here um, but a cargo SV you know I don't want it to get shot down as soon as I take off from my base so we need to deal with the patrol vessel how how are we gonna do with the patrol vessel we don't have well we do we have a way. And I'm going to show you that way. And that way is... My box top advanced SV. Got this ready to spawn in. And yeah. Here's its garage. Well, it's gonna share it with the uh, with the other one we build. But I'll park this one outside. Oh, geez, can I get that outside through the door? Even holy crap, I might not be able to. Oh yeah, it looks like I'll just be able to. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of well. Why is it? Why is it doing that? I don't have it selected anymore. I've already placed it. Stop that bubble of annoyity do not do that <laughs> stupid visual bugs da, 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 da. what's it doing oh that's annoying okay let's stop that come on stop that <laughs> do, I, do i need to reload let's go down here okay and then we'll 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 like select that yeah yeah, okay, so now we've... 
and oh uh, come on <laughs> okay so it, it it's it's on us what the heck is um Wait. What? What? What the heck is that? <laughs> what the hell did it do to my SV? What? It smushed two SVs together. No, it's got to be just a visual glitch, right? Right? Yeah, it won't let me go through this one. Okay, good. But it let me through go through... This one. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, fun times. Yep. The joys of playing an alpha. <laughs> what? What is that? What is this, Elon? This is a bug. Fun times. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to try soft logging. Let's try a soft log. Let's try a soft log. What I mean by soft log is just logging off the game save. So turning the game save off, but not shutting the game off. And then just resuming the game save. <clears throat> That's considered a soft log. A hard log is logging off the freaking game. And if that don't work, you try... <laughs> um, yeah, shutting off. Well, you shut off the game as a hard log, and then a. If that still don't work, well then reboot. Okay, there we go. So that fixed it. Soft log fixed it. So it was just a visual. I could have probably done the. Um, there's a. I forget what the command is to refresh. Refresh your screen. Uh, anyway. Good. There we go. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Let's, um, well, we're not ready because we got to make some ammo. Because I completely forgot about that. So I was all excited about the other new stuff to use. So, uh, no, you're all, you're all geared up for, for the SV. Oh, you know what? That's actually perfect then if that's geared up for the SV. Uh, yeah, we'll just, it's weird that you can only... I wonder if, if we had more stuff in there, this scroll go bar would get bigger. I think so. See? Yeah, I think it will. I think it just expands if you have that full. Then, it, then it'll then it scroll down to the next one. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's make some ammo. Now, this thing uses rocket launcher homing missiles which are the 135 HMSLs. Okay, so let's make 135 HMSLs. We have a bunch of magnesium ore. And I think we've got powder too. Where did I put that powder? Oh, I did not loot powder. Okay, that's fine. We we've got ore. We've got ore that can that can be turned into quite a few missiles. Quite a few. So let's do that. 135 H MSL, right? 135 H MSL. Okay, and each one gives us seven, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it's seven. Yep, seven. So that's 70, 140, 210, 280, 350. see if how many we can get out of this oh nice it's using up a bunch of our electronics that we looted or that got deconstructed it's all the cycle of life for ammunition to kill things oh, that, just <laughs> that wasn't quite 
how I expected it to come out. Okay, come on, ammo. Well, in the meantime, let's fuel this thing up. So, oh, you know what? You know what? We need to, we need to put in, we need to Alpha 9 this thing. I'm not going to worry about the cargo boxes because this just needs to hold ammo. That's all its purpose is going to be for, to smash things. Um, but it's got no Wi-Fi. Hmm. That's not good. Let's, let's make some Wi-Fi. So here's the amenities in the back here. The other great thing about this too is if you you can actually just spin around and launch your drone and still be protected inside because from that point you're still considered inside and protected. So you don't need to jump out necessarily. So this can also function as a constructed vehicle too in Alpha 8, but not in Alpha 9 anymore. It's just not got the storage capacity at all. So, okay. Let's get this thing fueled up. Bunker. Fuel. And then... We want ammo. Nice. I've made a bunch. That's right. Oh, we want oxygen, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's do the oxygen. <laughs> uh, where did I put that? Do I have separate oxygen yet? O2. Yes, I do. Okay. Nice. And actually, you know what? I want to carry some of that with me. And where's the fuel one again? Um, yeah, good enough. Oh, that maxed out that container. That's fine. That's fine. It's got a whole bunch of cargo containers. They just can't carry very much. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. The ammo should be a thousand each, right? Yeah. So if we need to, we can use the ammo boxes too. Okay. Um... be enough that that should be enough for now that should be enough for now that should be enough for now okay ammo and ammo right there oh we already made a bunch okay I didn't know we made a bunch so that's good that's good because we're gonna need a bunch and woo, almost maxed out that ammo box. That's okay. We've got 630. Wow, that should do pretty good. Uh, 4,000 rounds though. That's not a lot, but it should be enough. So let's from here. We want raw food? Oh. We want to make, you know what, here, let's, oh, you know what, I, 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 I keep forgetting, I already made a whole bunch. Where is it? It's in uh, fridge two. Yeah. So we'll eat one of those and then we'll take some with us. We don't need it all. Okay. I'm going to call the episode here. Uh, it's getting a little long in the tooth, so what we're going to do is uh, next episode we're going to go down, go out, take this thing out, and hunt down the uh, patrol vessel and maybe do some other stuff. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.